Welcome to The Wellness Way with me, Philly J. Lay, a lay person's guide to your natural health systems, your very own NHS. Hello, lovely people. And this is a really exciting episode for me today. After nearly 18 months of writing, filming and editing, lots of editing, I'm just about ready to release my new video series, The Wellness Way Faster Class, Your Natural Wellness Journey. This is taken from my book, The Natural Wellness Journal, where I talk about all the different modalities and techniques that I use to heal from my near-death medical procedure and years of grief and trauma. And uh, I won't go into that now, but go back and look at the first episode if you don't know about it. Um, so this is really, really exciting, as I said. I have filmed 33 episodes from my book, all the best techniques that I used. And the first eight episodes of the Wellness Way podcast are taken from this series. And they include, as I said, my journey, energy, tapping, the heart, the incredible heart, breath work, uh, DNA and epigenetics. And never in a million years would I have thought when I wrote the book that one day I would be sitting down and interviewing the astonishing Dr. Bruce Lipton, which is coming up very shortly in the new year. And I'm just so excited to have that conversation. Uh, the man that kind of blew the lid are on the lie of DNA. So that's really exciting. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, sometimes I just have to pinch myself because I can't believe this is happening. But it is. <laughs> you can learn from Dr. Bruce Lipton about the biology of your beliefs and how words can change your actual psyche and your health and get rid of all your limiting beliefs. They're just crap. Get rid of them. They're limiting. <laughs> My favorite line from the Soma Breathwork Morning Gratitude Meditation, which I do almost every morning, uh, is when Niraj tells us to turn the impossible into I am possible. And just look at the spelling there. It really is impossible. I am possible. And all words have meanings. And I love all of those uh, meanings. So I think my favorite word is beautiful. And if you write it down, it actually spells be you till full, be you till full. And that's what we all need to do. Just be beautiful, be beautiful. So in a couple of days, we have the winter solstice coming up, which is a, a very special day for me because it's actually the second anniversary of me publishing my book. I just believed and I still believe if everybody knew what I learned over that period of time, that you wouldn't be afraid of anything. And fear, along with anger, are the biggest suppressors of the immune system. We've just got to let that go uh, and stop living in fear. And why do we live in fear? Mostly, I believe we live in fear because we're frightened of dying. And if you're frightened of dying, um, it's because you don't believe, I think, you don't believe that there's somewhere to go after here, uh, somewhere better. So with the winter solstice approaching and my second anniversary, I have a fantastic competition for you. I would like to give away three copies of my Faster Class video series, The Wellness Way Faster Class, um, to, to three people that can write to me on my webpage and tell me why they would like this in their life or the life of somebody else they love. So just write a little bit about your story, what you've been through uh, and what you hope to achieve out of doing this course. And um, I will choose three lucky winners to preview it and give me some feedback and have a chat with me, which would be absolutely lovely. And 10 runners up will get a signed copy of my book. So why have I called it a faster class? We all have these incredibly busy lives. And, you know, when I was in bed, I couldn't do anything else and I had nothing else to lose anyway. So I could spend the time on it. But, you know, most of us, 
are just incredibly busy and we don't have the time to sit down and listen to endless lectures and podcasts and write notes on it. And I used to pause the computer when I was on, uh, especially the docu-series that I used to do, you know, hundreds of docu-series, and I'd keep pausing the computer and I'd write and I'd take notes and then I'd have to listen again and write and take notes. And there were loads of words that I didn't know what the fuck they meant. And I was just like, okay, I've, I've got to learn this. I want to heal and I want to heal naturally. So for those of you that don't have that time, I have just put together these short episodes and they range anywhere from six minutes to I think the longest is 40 minutes, but it includes a meditation uh, and you can just listen to it every day, every week. And again, I will point you in the direction of the experts and you just have to find what suits you. So not everything suits everyone, um, you know, tapping. I love my tapping, as you know, but, um, <laughs> you know, it might be just doing a little bit of breath work. It might be doing your grounding and I'm going to come to those later. Um, it might be having your herbal tea, making your bone broth, you know, and putting that in your diet, um, going organic or as you know, organic as you possibly can. Uh, and I know that sounds expensive, but you can go to farmer's markets and go, what have you sprayed this week? And they will tell you, you know, build a relationship with your, your farmers, your local growers. And that way you can know what you're eating and just, you know, take the crap, cut the crap out of your diet. You know, we're coming up to dry January. So, you know, I'm doing that again. Uh, and I hope that with the faster class, I will be able to support you in doing that. So just by watching them, you'll go, okay, I want to have a go. I want to have a go at something because I feel a bit shit or I feel a bit unhappy with my life. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk through lots of different forms of detox because detox isn't just to do with the body, it's to do with emotional detox so that emotions don't sit in the body and manifest and become dis-ease and just find comfort and happiness in our lives again. Apart from the introductions and my six daily essentials, everything else in the book, and I've tried to keep the same format going in the faster class, I've tried to keep down to two pages, nice and short, and then introduce you to the people I've learned from, whether that is Dr. Bruce Lipton, Greg Braden, Dr. McCola, um, oh, Zach Bush, MD, the list goes on and on of these amazing, amazing people. But if I mention them, please go and look them up. And most importantly, sign up to their web pages, uh, as I would like you to do to mine, <laughs> because they are limiting the information that we can get out to you. At the end of each of the episodes of the Wellness Way Faster class, I take you on a practical so we can actually just try out something that I've talked about together. Uh, and this is why this episode, podcast episode today, is really special to me because I'm giving you my absolute favorite, favorite episode from the series, my three favorite modalities, breathwork, grounding, meditation, take you on a, I hope, really deep, beautiful, grounding meditation. It's not a set path. It's your journey. Uh, so you will find the things that you love. For me, tapping will always be in there. But my day is not complete unless I start it with a meditation and grounding and breath work. So those are my three really, really important things that I do. And, and I think those of you that come on any of my lives and see me at all times of year with my bare feet on the ground, even in the frost and the snow, will know how much my grounding means to me. <laughs> Uh, I, I also actually sleep on a Rowland's grounding mat, which is um, it's a, a sheet that's woven with silver and it takes me into a really deep theta state of sleep. And it keeps me there in the morning while I do my meditations, which I do before I leave my bed. Uh, and I, I try and do them in my half sleep. So when I'm just first coming round, um, I make sure that I go back. And I count down um, from, you know, depending on how much time I've got. I don't look at the clock. Um, I let my body tell me <laughs> what time it is. <laughs> That's a little trick that maybe um, you might not want to do yet. But when you get used to it, it's absolutely bloody amazing. 
So meditation is most probably the most important part of my day or my day just goes to shit and I don't achieve anything. So, you know, um, run your day or your day will run you is my mantra. I have been lucky enough to train with Soma Breathwork uh, and I finished my course this year, which was really exciting. And the fantastic Greg Mannion, who I had the pleasure of interviewing last week on the podcast. So if you haven't heard it, please go and check it out. Uh, he was the man that taught me how to write my own meditations. Uh, and I owe him a huge debt of gratitude. Uh, and it's lovely being grateful. It's a really important part of my daily practice is being grateful to people. I'm also grateful to his brother, Paul, who wrote the beautiful music for my meditation album, The Wellness Awakening. Um, and he uh, helped produce it and guided me through a very <laughs> difficult, confusing tech period of my life. And so massive thank you to Greg and Paul. At the end of this, I'm going to give you my grounding meditation from my album, The Wellness Awakening. Very sadly, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take this down from the music platforms because I've had so many messages from people saying that they can't find the podcast. Um, when you type in my name, it apparently takes you through to my album most of the time. And for me, it's more important to get out the information of my guests. So I'm going to take it down off the music platforms. However, you can still find it on my webpage. And if you sign up and do the course, The Wellness Way, um, you will get a free copy of it. So it'll be there. And it will also be available as a free gift on my Rumble's local community channel. So as many of you know, I've just started Rumble. And with that, they have something called Locals. This is all very, very new to me. Uh, so come and bear with me and come and join in. I just need... 10 of you lovely people to sign up to my locals and we can build that community and start getting together once a week because I would really love to get to know you people. I'm so touched by all the messages that I get on social media platforms and all the support I get. But, you know, I don't even know people's names always because they have kind of, you know, different names, kind of angel numbers or something. And so just to actually see you and get to know you will just be fantastic. So I'm really, really looking forward to starting that in 2023. Please, please come and join me. But if you don't fancy signing up to Rumbles or my Locals community channel, then come and find me on my webpage and I will be selling the Faster Class uh, course there. You will also get the Wellness Awakening album. Uh, and um, Another bonus on, on both platforms, actually, Locals and my webpage, you've got another bonus, which is uh, a little video of me making herbal teas and drying them and what the herbs are good for. And uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of herbal teas. So on that note, I'm just going to take a slurp of my dandelion and stingy nettles now. Mm. Hopefully I've kept everything short enough not to overwhelm you because... I know that I was incredibly overwhelmed at the beginning of my journey. And what you need to do is just pick the bits you like and make them habits. And, and, and what is a habit? A habit is when you no longer have to think about doing something. So, you know, if you take up running, um, you might do the week and go, oh, I've done a week. Fantastic. And month, I've done a month. Fantastic. Oh, three months. Fantastic. But when you come back and you don't even think about it, that's a habit. So I drink my herbal teas. It's a habit. I don't have to think, oh, have I had my nutrients today? So that's what I'm trying to put in place so that you can just take you know, cherry pick, do cherry pick. Uh, I know Dr. Sarah Myhill on the podcast said you can't cherry pick in natural health. Um, but I think you can because I think any tiny little thing you can do is a step in the right direction. Uh, and if it makes you feel better, you'll want to do more. You'll just go, oh, I'll do a little bit more of this because I feel really good today. So um, that that's that's my take on it. But, you know, we're all different. But, you know, do remember that you are enough. And this is one of my hacks in, in the faster class and the book, just to take a pen and write on your, uh, your bathroom or bedroom mi mirror, I am enough. And just don't let 
anyone tell you differently because whatever you're doing, you're doing the best you can that day. You don't wake up and go, oh, I'm just going to do a pile of old shit today and piss everybody off. You just, you don't, you do your best. And sometimes it just goes out of control. And it's very hard, you know, if you've got kids or you've got a husband screaming at you in the morning to have that time and space on your own. So try and find moments in the day, you know, even if you have to sit in your car to do it. And I do actually quite a lot of not deep meditation, I hasten to add in my car, but I do blessings. I send out blessings and I and to myself and to other people, um, even my car. Um, if my car's feeling a bit poorly and just going a bit chuggy, I go, I bless you car with pure love and light. I bless you car with purified light source energy. And just by saying that, just now saying that, I mean, just bless somebody now, just take a moment and just go, I bless you mum with pure love and light I bless you mum with purified light source energy and it doesn't matter you know my mum isn't here anymore but I can still bless her I can bless anybody anything I like it's a it's a fantastic technique um and I you know we we don't love ourselves enough we don't appreciate what we do and you know we are the only person that we wake up with every day of our lives every second every day we're the only person that's there for us and it's really really important to thank yourself and we don't do that and so for that reason the first exercise in my book and the first exercise in the wellness way faster class i ask you to take a photograph of yourself and you can put it up as a screen saver you can print it off and stick it up on your wardrobe whatever you fancy doing and i ask you one really simple question. If I asked you to tell me the 10 things you love most in the world, when would you mention yourself? And we just don't. And so, you know, fill that out now. As soon as this podcast is over, take that photo and fill out the 10 things that you love most in the world. And please include yourself. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard because you go, I look shit this morning. It's not about looks. It's about you. Beautiful. Beautiful you. I'm going to put this full podcast out on all platforms today. Uh, and I'd love you to subscribe, like, share, um, and let anybody you know that you feel needs this information, just let them know how to find it. But it will go out on all platforms in the full episode today. But after that, uh, and before this, actually, uh, all the full episodes with my guests are only on Rumble now, so that I um, I don't have any more little slip ups getting taken down. So um, <laughs> come and find me on Rumble. And you can listen to everything that my ha my guests have to say with no censorship whatsoever. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Please join my community. Um, I never stop learning and I hope you don't stop learning and I hope that we can learn from each other as we go forward through the Christmas periods, through next year and beyond and just keep walking this path to natural health and when we heal ourselves we absolutely will heal our planet to sign up to my web page and fill out the form to say why you'd like to join me uh, as a lucky winner on the faster class series so three of you i'm looking for share it with anyone you know on social media tag as many people as you know let's get this information out there so some of you might know that i have been running hashtag Phillies advent calendar for the month of december giving as many of you lovely people as many discounts as possible on some of the products that I use uh, and that I recommend. And um, I wouldn't be Philly unless I gave you a massive discount on the Wellness Way Faster class. So on December the 21st, the day that we can start the pre-orders, there will be a 50% discount on my webpage. And that will go right the way through until the 1st of January. So the normal price of the Faster Class series, because I love angel numbers, is £222. But for this period and for the advent calendar discount, you can buy it for a lovely, I love this number, 111. So £111. 
So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my absolute favorite, favorite episode of the Faster Class series, Your Natural Wellness Journey on grounding, breathwork and meditation. Have a wonderful Christmas, guys. Thank you. Welcome to the Faster Class on grounding and connecting us back to nature. The earth is one giant ball of energy. And when we spend time outdoors with mother nature, we can absorb this power and use it to help our bodies to heal and grow. There are so many different ways that we can boost our mental and physical health when we are outdoors, such as grounding, breathing, and just being. Trees actually emit invisible chemicals called phytocyanes. And these reduce stress hormones like cortisol, which in turn lowers blood pressure and improves our immunity. Phytocyanes also have antibacterial and antifungal qualities too, because they're used by the plants to fight disease. When we breathe them in, our bodies respond by increasing the number and the activity of white blood cells called our natural killer T cells, which kill virus affected cells in our bodies and even cancer tumors. So boosting our T cells is going to decrease your chances of getting ill from a cold to cancer and everything in between. This is fascinating. One study showed a two night, three day forest trip increased your natural killer T cells for more than 30 days afterwards. And this is why forest bathing is such a big gig in Japan. Now imagine how much stronger and longer the effects could be if you do proper breath work, getting the maximum amount of photocytes into your lungs and then your bloodstream. Breathe in your gut biome. Go hug a tree. If we all do it, we won't look mad. <laughs> but if you put your ear to a tree when it's raining, you can even hear them singing. They are that clever. However, when we go for a walk in nature, one of the most important things that we can do is to take our shoes off. Although at first this sounds a bit mad and quite dirty, <laughs> the science behind it is fascinating and absolutely brilliant for us. Walking barefoot on the earth is called grounding or earthing. Some people call it earthing. And it has some absolutely astonishing effects on the body. It gives us more energy, but more importantly, it reduces inflammation, which causes diseases like arthritis and so much more. Well everything. This is all because of negative electrons and ions. So I'm going to give you a bit of science here. The earth is negatively charged with free electrons that travel from the sun on solar wind and then get struck into the ground by lightning. About a hundred lightning bolts strike the earth's surface every single second. That's about 8 million per day and 3 billion each year. So the earth is powerfully charged with electrons and a rich source of energy. We have our own muddy battery and we can conduct this energy through our feet to our energy meridians up our whole body. How lucky are we? <laughs> so something called ATP or adrenosine triphosphate is a molecule found in all living things and it carries energy stored in its bonds around the body. ATP is formed from electrons being transported around the body through different molecules, so grounding increases our energy. We also have electrical currents throughout our body, such as our nervous system and our energy meridians, and by grounding and connecting the soles of the feet or our hands to the earth, which are the most conductive parts of the body, we connect to our own current, to the earth, and why gardening barehanded is so good for you. Having more electrons also increases the surface charge of our red blood cells and helps thin our blood. This prevents high blood pressure, heart attacks, and all-round inflammation, the root cause of most disease according to Harvard Medical School. Electrons also stop free radicals, which are positively charged ions that damage the telomeres in our cells, causing aging, severe illness, and are found in acid rain, exhaust fumes, pesticides, food additives, and EMFs, electromagnetic pollution. 
and that's submitted from mobile phones, uh, Wi-Fi, microwaves, smart meters, the list goes on. Uh, and they're not good for us. But when we get our free negative electrons into our bodies, we can actually neutralize the positive ones. How lucky are we? Looking at grounding's effects on your physical health is only half the story. The process has a big impact on your mental health and helps with anxiety and depression. Studies have shown that even doing one hour of grounding significantly increase your mood and reduce the side effects of technology overuse. It helps shift us from our sympathetic, our fight, flight, freeze state, to our parasympathetic, our recovery and rest and digest state, so that we feel much less stressed. It lowers our cortisol levels and increases all those happy hormones like dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and endorphins. Just being out in nature can improve your memory, your mental health, your concentration, confidence, self-esteem, which lead to better relationships in the long run. If you're feeling good about yourself, you'll feel good with other people. So getting up, getting out, getting going, improves your productivity, mood, outlook of your whole day. But if you can't do this for any reason, open your window and just breathe in some fresh air and nature gaze, just look out. Uh, even in a city, there will be something beautiful that you can look at. You can also get grounding by putting your feet in a tray of sand, uh, which is great if you can't get out. And Donna Eden has a great hack which is to use a stainless steel spoon, not a silver, only stainless steel, and rub it in a figure of eight on the side of your feet. Just keep grounding. A grounding meditation to connect you to the earth through breath work. We are made up of energy and the earth is one great big beautiful ball of positive and negative ions. Let's tap into those wonderful negative ions that protect you from dirty pollution, EMFs and help balance your nervous system. This meditation is best done standing with your feet directly onto the earth. But if you can't, Sit comfortably or lie down with your bare feet on the ground. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath and breathe. Breathe in through your nose, deep into your belly and out through your mouth in a perfect rhythm of two. In for two, out for two, in for two, out for two, in for two, out for two, in for two, out for two. Stabilize your breath, out for two. In for two, out for two. Keep breathing, out for two. In for two, out for two. In for two, out for two. In for two, out for two. Feel a white light above you, washing over your body like a waterfall. Washing through your body, sweeping away any negative energy that serves you no longer. Relax any tension from the past. Breathe it in and let it go.
Relax your body, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your arm, your hands, your fingers, your torso, your gut, your core, your legs and right down into your feet. Keep breathing. Feel your feet spreading out onto the ground. Reach out. Reach out. Down into the ground. Reach out, reach out, reach out, spreading your roots deep into the earth, like the roots of a tree, reach out, reach out, connecting with trillions of miles from all the other deep roots, feeling connected. Reach out, reach out. Feel the strength that the earth allows you, enabling you to grow taller and stronger. Remember, even if you have been battered by the storm, you have the power of regrowth to blossom and flourish and reach out. Spread your roots deeper, deeper and deeper. Connecting to the energy of the earth that is here to support you. Feel your energy going deeper and deeper. Reach out. Through the layers of the earth until you can cut into the earth's core and feel its heat. The heat of love, mother's love, mother earth, keep breathing. Now feel the heat rising up into your root rising through your feet, blowing up your legs, feel its energy in your core, visualize the light of the root chakra, swirling and twirling in your core, the chakra of the first year of your life, and breathe it in, up through your legs, up through your body, breathe in, breathe in, and release it back into the center of the earth, and hold your breath, just hold your breath for as long as is comfortable. And feel that heat. See the red, swirling, swirling, push past your comfort zone, and when you need to take a breath, take a small breath in and release it back, 
and just relax deep into the ground, deep into the core of the earth. Just relax and let it all go. And if you feel like you need to take a breath, just push past your comfort zone a little bit further. Feel it flowing up your legs. Feel its energy in your core. Visualize that red root chakra swirling and twirling. The chakra of the first year of your life. Know that you are safe in the here and now. Know your strength and your power. And breathe it out. Breathe in a rhythm of two. In for two. Out for 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 two. Reach out. Feel your strength growing. Now take a full, full breath in, right the way up through your body, right the way up through your legs, right the way up through to your head and push it out of your third eye. Push it out to the universe, your energy, your strength. Keep going. And just hold that as long as it's comfortable. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And just squeeze. Pull on your mulabunda and squeeze. And when you are ready, let it go with a sigh. And bring your attention back to your space and your body. Move your fingers, move your toes, and come back to the present moment, and gently open your eyes. Know that you can always return to this place of safety, and that it is stored deep within your core, and you have the power to use it whenever you choose.